the event loop in three minutes. Let's meet the doctor. The doctor role is to inspect the chain of functions that script calls and execute them in a LIFO order. LIFO means last in, first out. So let's give the doctor some things to do and see how we work through them. For example, we can give the doctor some code to run. The doctor read and execute the code line by line. If you find any reference to another function, he jump inside this function and continue executing the inner function. Of course, this process happen recursively until there is no code left to run. Now, the doctor is ready to take some new tasks. But before that, let's meet the secretary. The secretary role is to check if the doctor can accept new patients and push them into the doctor office. Now, as patients arrive, a queue is naturally created. Now, for each patient, the secretary creates a file that contains all its information. Then, she store it inside the doctor patient's cabinet, so the doctor can easily use it later on. Now the doctor handling one patient at a time, and because the information of each patient is stored inside this cabinet, he can use this information to solve this patient's problems. When we say that the doctor used to get only one patient at a time, we mean that only one task is executed each time and only if the doctor finishes his previous tasks. The patients enter the doctor room, but all the request was things that the doctor could do right away, in synchronous way. But what is the biggest problem when you are waiting in the line? There is always the one who never get out. He asks the doctor million questions and it feels like lifetime waiting until he gets out. When there is such a patient that spam the doctor with million questions, the whole queue get stuck. And what happens next? People start to get angry. To solve this, let's meet the laboratory. The lab role is to perform unique jobs that the doctor can do right away, process them, then update the office with the results. Let's look on this example. There are some patients which contain heavy requests. The doctor, not wasting the time, is send this request back to the lab and continue getting more patients. The lab works on this heavy request. When it's finished, the lab sends the result back inside the queue. By using Web API, which is the lab, we can achieve a synchronous, non-blocking execution workflow. In summary, JavaScript executes synchronously on the call stack, while asynchronously actions get managed by the event loop and the callback queue. This non-blocking behavior enabled by the event loop allow JavaScript to perform without locking up, making it efficient and scalable. 